Book banning has taken a front row seat in Florida after Governor Ron DeSantis passed censorship laws. And that conversation has arrived in a small Wisconsin school board race coming to a head tomorrow. Our Catherine Merck has been digging into what's going on in Baraboo and shows us the books in the limelight here. Catherine? Three candidates in the Baraboo school board race are making books one of the big issues in their campaign. Take a look at some of the titles. The Kite Runner and Perks of Being a Wallflower are just some of them. Both of these have also been turned into well-known films. One parent I spoke with said these stories are important for his child to be able to share his culture with the community. However, for one candidate I spoke with, he says he's reading between the lines. Turn to page 97 of Sherman Alexie's book, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. One of the most famous phrases from the piece says, the world, even the smallest parts of it, is filled with things you don't know. I have a daughter uh, in high school right now. One Baraboo school district parent who asked to be anonymous says it's this message that allows his Native American daughter to connect her culture to the classroom. It's something that my daughter was able to relate to. In the upcoming race for Baraboo School Board, this book and others are being targeted. If I had a book in front of me and I read from it, we wouldn't be able to broadcast that over your airwaves. James Hine is one of eight candidates running for three open Baraboo School Board seats. On his campaign website that he shares with two other candidates, it states books like Sherman Alexie's have concerning adult content for the classroom. We have a problem in the Baraboo schools like I think uh, many other schools are having with children who uh, are not behaving in a particularly uh, civilized or dignified way. And that's at least partially explained by the uh, materials to which they're exposed and, and, and they're consuming as part of the curriculum. Other candidates have commented on Hines' online post. In a statement to News 3 Now, Angela Hanley called it, quote, a sign of authoritarian tendencies. The candidate's push to remove these books mirrors the right-wing push in Florida to ban hundreds of books from classrooms. Floridians want our school system to be about educating kids, not indoctrinating kids. I asked Hein if he wants to ban these books. His website calls for a removal. He told me that was only from schools. It's not my business whether their parents want to, uh, a child's parents want to provide access to that type of material, but rather what is available through the libraries in our schools. So then that would thus mean not having those allowed in schools. Potentially. I'd love to hear the argument as to why they should be allowed. What's left for Baraboo voters is the argument this parent poses straight from the page. How much do the smallest things matter if they teach you something about the world you don't know? Part of reading a book is putting yourself in the position of the people that you're reading about and say, what would I do? Or how would that have affected us? And to not be able to read about those, there's no reason for it. Hein admits that he has bigger priorities if he were elected school board, like making sure the students in the district are proficient in their studies. I asked the eight candidates that are running for this position about what their biggest priorities are heading into tomorrow's election. You can hear their responses on channel3000.com.